The interior of the Lincoln Nautilus, a calm, comfortable, and serene place to be. There are fine wrapped leather elements all around the cabin with soft touch features, nice wood grain and aluminum accents, and technology to boot. Let's take a closer look at the interior of the Lincoln Nautilus. When climbing into the Nautilus, the tall roof affords front passengers 39.9 inches of headroom and 42.8 inches of legroom in the front row. The front seats allow for 56.4 inches of hip room and 58.9 inches of shoulder room, while those in the second row make use of 39.2 inches of headroom, and for legroom, they get 39.6 inches. 55.6 inches of hip room and 59 inches of shoulder room round out the second row. The seats sport Bridge of Weir deep soft leather available in either an ebony black, cappuccino, which is a nice beige, ebony and terracotta, which adds a reddish brown, coffee and cappuccino, which gives you brown seats with beige accents, and finally a beautiful slate gray, which this vehicle is outfitted with. The front seats can also feature heating and ventilating capabilities. Plus, if you choose the optional Ultra Comfort front seats, you'll benefit from 22-way power adjustability with power thigh extenders, power head restraints, and active motion massage functionality. The Elements package gives you heated rear seats as well. Wood trim accents adorn the cabin and can be had in brown swirl walnut, espresso ash swirl, or gray ash swirl. Active noise control reduces unwanted engine noise and monitors exterior noise to oppose the sound waves to cancel them out, and that paired with acoustic laminate glass all helps reduce outside noises. The digital dash is customizable to display a minimal look or a look with more gauges and more information. On the display, you also have various settings from your drive settings, drive assistance settings, and vehicle settings, and maintenance information. On either side of your SYNC 3 screen, you have your push button transmission selector, and opposite of that, you have your auto start stop off button, your active park assist, which brings up options for parallel parking or perpendicular, and continuing down the line is your front 360 degree view, which if you press multiple times, brings up further angles. Below that is parking sensors and your hazards. Moving down further is your auto hold button and your glove box opener button. On the other side of that is your push button ignition, and in the easy to reach center lie your audio controls with volume, seek, and tune, and under that are your dual zone climate controls, with your fan speed in the center, power and max AC buttons, etc. The Nautilus features both ventilated and heated seats for the front row, and on the sync homepage is the on-off button for your heated steering wheel. And if you're an audiophile, the available Revell Ultima audio system sets 19 speakers throughout the cabin and touts HD radio technology. In the center console, you have a wireless charge pad for your cell phone and a USB hookup just in case your phone is incompatible. After that is your two cup holders and your two compartment under armrest storage area complete with more power outlets. For additional storage, the Nautilus features two tier cubbies which is made possible by the absence of the traditional gear selector. The rear passengers, as mentioned before, get heated seats and power ports that feature an in-home style 110 volt outlet. Above, the panoramic vista roof spans both rows and allows sunshine in and offers an electric shade to keep cool on warmer days like today. For cargo, you get 37.2 cubic feet of space behind the second row, or if you fold those down via these nice electronic buttons, you can utilize 68.8 cubic feet of total cargo volume. Well, now that you've taken a little tour around the inside of the Nautilus, let's see how it is behind the wheel. Let's go for a drive.
The Nautilus sure is a calming place to be, whether in traffic or on a nice road. To experience the Nautilus for yourself, make sure Richmond Lincoln is your stop. We are driven by you. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.